Today, Brenda Ramos joined Austin State Senator Sarah Eckhart to announce the Mike Ramos Act. It would create new standards for officer discipline and expand public access to body camera video in cases where officers use physical force on a suspect. KXAM Politics reporter John Engel also finds out how police groups are responding. He was so frightened at the end. He told them to put the guns down and they didn't. Hands up! Impact it! Hours after the officer charged in her son's death was arrested, Brenda Ramos helped unveil the Mike Ramos Act. It means everything to me that this law, the Michael Mike Ramos Act, will train police to escalate rather than escalate like they did to my son. The bill would direct the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement to create a new training model on de-escalation and use of force and establish a list of offenses that can lead to a peace officer's license being revoked. That includes a lack of competence in performing duties, illegal drug use, lack of truthfulness in court, and a pattern of excessive force. You've watched the body cam footage from, from Mike Ramos' death. What sits with you the most? When he risks his life to raise his shirt and turn around, in his head, he's calculating, how can I convince them that I am not a threat? Kevin Lawrence, the head of the Texas Municipal Police Association, says discipline of an officer by the state, like revoking a license, needs to include due process. The officer has to be given a fair shake. There has to be something akin to what the state bar offers or what the bar, the, the medical associations offer. You know. For Brenda Ramos, her pain is still very real. But it's a promise to her son she won't break. The Mike Ramos Act will save other mothers from what I suffered. John Engel, KXAN News. The bill would also close the dead suspect loophole KXAN has been investigating for the past three years. It shields evidence for release when a suspect dies in custody. That kept the case of Javier Ambler in the dark for months after he died during an arrest by Williamson County Sheriff's deputies. The Texas Municipal Police Association supports closing that loophole and expanding access to body camera recordings. Officer Taylor is also the target of a wrongful death lawsuit filed in February by the family of another man he fatally shot in the line of duty. In July of 2019, officers were called out to the spring condominiums in downtown Austin. APD says Marius De Silva was armed with a knife and suffering from a mental health episode. It says that Taylor and another officer fired their weapons when De Silva stepped towards them. A third officer used a stun gun. I mean, I think Taylor had shown in our case that he had a penchant for pulling a trigger when he shouldn't be pulling a trigger. And if, if APD would have been more aware of that and, and done a better review in this case and said that he wasn't cleared to go back out on the street, then Ramos would probably still be alive. Yes. This case is also being examined by the Travis County District Attorney's Civil Rights Division.